Hi there, how's it going? Hey, how you doing? Aaron, shake hands. Oh yes. Good grip. Just talking about the impact. So please welcome Dr. Selena Griffiths. Thank you, Lisa. And I, I just was crossing all my things off my speech. Oh, <laughs> um, I, I am from Sydney, but I actually travelled here tonight um, talking about artist journeys. Um, up the most amazing escarpment from um, uh, Jeringong. I've been staying down at my uncle's house. My uncle's an artist. He's a war artist and he's currently in Afghanistan. And he's a prolific producer of artist books. And my mother is also an artist and she's been a prolific bookmaker as well. But the books they do um, are really about something they're researching and it's, it doesn't really give any insight into them. And um, uh, at my uncle's house there's no internet, my children were horrified, I was completely relieved because he has the most amazing collection of books about artists. So there's <laughs> everything from, um, uh, you know, Adam Cullen is a you know, contemporary of his, um, uh, uh, David Bowie, um, right down to you know, these Goyers and Rembrandt books and you can sit there on the couch and flick through them and, and get this wonderful, fantastic insight into history and the human condition and 
Um, you know, he often says to me, he says, it's fantastic the guys at, at your university in Canberra are teaching culture to the future leaders of our defence forces because with culture comes civilisation and it's really important for us to have civilised people leading uncivilised activities, as he, he calls it. Um, <clears throat> And having been on the ground, I'll say that it's probably quite a justifiable thing for him to say, but um, when I uh, had to, to think about tonight and I wandered around and had a look at the, the amazing books on display here, um, this is a, a fantastic insight into the individuals, their creativity, their innovative approaches to what a book might be. Um, and you'll see that you know, if you close your eyes and imagined a book, you'll be sort of transformed into a shop with, or a library with everything neatly lined up and you know, in specific formats and bound tightly. And just talking to, to Robin Foster, who has done this amazing job, um, cat herding 187 book designers and artists uh, to producing this fantastic catalogue of work um, and dealing with the diversity. So Robin sort of, I said to Robin, how was it? You know, 187 artists, that's an Olympic effort. And Robin was telling me that this particular artist here had actually originally produced the, the pages of the book, which are now face-mounted acrylic, on toast. Um, and they had to be imported into Australia and there was this discussion with the artist, you know, we might not get it through customs, can you think of another way of, of doing this? So there's, there's a bit, I, I'm sure that behind every single one of these individual books there is another story behind um, how it, it got to be here. Uh, but the, Robin and I were discussing also the importance of um, the, the fact that everyone knows what a book is now and um, that, that sort of very basic starting point uh, and the myriad materials that are available to different artists and designers has allowed uh, a massive level of creativity to, to um, pan out through this exhibition. And so you'll see books redefined as um, you know, there's cut out, there's print making, there's folding, there's gluing, there's stitching. All of these are traditional crafts that were uh, related to bookmaking hundreds of years ago when we first started producing books, but we sort of shifted away from as we industrialised and democratised the book. Uh, and this is coming back to the bespoke. So most of these are one-off, they're not, not replicable in any way, uh, and they become artworks or pieces of, of a refined craft um, that are, that are in, in fact, artworks on, in, on their own. And I must, at, at this point, thank John and the team at the library for creating such a great exhibition space. Um, we always joke about the White Square at, at the uh, College of Fine Arts. Oh, sorry, we're called Art and Design now. Don't tell Brendan I slipped. Um, <laughs> we're going through a very lengthy rebranding process. But uh, uh, to um, escape the white box, uh, or the white cube, and to have books where they should be in a public place that's accessible um, and surrounded by the more formal um, cousins of theirs on all of the shelves. Um, it, it's a fantastic context in which to view these works. So I hope all of you um, really enjoy these books tonight. I, I hope you sort of look a little bit more closely and try and understand the individual that has been working very hard to prepare each of you, uh, each of these works for you to enjoy and understand what are they really trying to tell me, but beneath that, what does this really tell me about them as individual creative people? And um, on that note, I'd also like to acknowledge the traditional owners of the land that we're meeting on tonight and their um, elders, uh, past, present and future. And I hope you all enjoy the rest of the work for the evening. Um, th thank you for the artists for travelling so far. And Robin, thank you for being such a persistent and fantastic curator. I know this is the third exhibition in a string of three that you've presented with this, work, uh, this series of works. And I hope that it will uh, give you energy to get back up and curate something similarly wonderful next. Congratulations. It's previously been on display at the Redlands Museum and the Redlands Art Gallery and has now travelled to UNSW Canberra. Please make Robin welcome. Well, my squeaky shoe's done for that here. <laughs> um, well, I don't know what else to say about the exhibition. The original concept for the exhibition came from the opportunity to host um, another book arts exhibition at Redland Museum and I had been custodian of a, a set of 100-year-old photographs that we'd found in my brother's attic in Brisbane. And um, the original owner of the house, who built the house and then moved into a retirement home, um, was the only owner before my brother moved into the house. And um, 
His wife is a prolific um, sweep everything clean kind of person, so she wanted to put them on the tip. And I said, no, you can't put them on the tip. I'd like to look after them. So I took them home, not thinking you know, that I'd ever find a connection with them. But um, they travelled through about three houses with me, and then I decided that they would be a good basis for an exhibition in a museum about lost identity and personal histories and how we can lose all the connections that we have with family. So I started um, this project, inviting other artists to write about their own personal histories, thinking that um, it would be a good form of connection. People would be able to connect with other people's stories as well as find differences in different cultures. Um, so I posted some of these images online and um, the, the niece of one of the photos that I put up got in touch with me and said, that's my family. And she didn't have any photographs of her family, so I was able to reconnect her with all these fantastic photos. Um, and she also allowed me to make images, um, use the images to make books. And there's one artwork left. <laughs> I've given her most of the other artworks, but one artwork left is an altered book hanging in the middle of the um, two showcases at the front of the exhibition. That's, um, that was one of her uncles. I don't have a name for him, she didn't have a name, but she knew he was um, one of her uncles. So it's been a fantastic um, experience with that. But also just getting to know all the different um, artists involved with this and corralling them all together and um, getting to understand their stories and, and their artistic processes have been wonderful. So I really hope you enjoy um, seeing what's here on display today. And I really thank you all for coming along. I know some of you have come and made an awful lot of effort to, to get here, so I really appreciate it. And I'd really like to thank all the artists who've been involved because um, it's been just such a wonderfully received exhibition. And so many people get so many different things out of it, so I hope everyone here does as well. So thank you very much. That's the end of the formalities. Uh, the only other formality is that you do enjoy the artwork tonight and engage with it. Uh, please help yourself to some food and wine and stay and uh, make the most of the exhibition.